1993 is when the Clinch County girls basketball team won the last of the program's four state championships. On a team where the current players have a lot of family members with rings themselves, the time is now to win another. And they have the backing of the community to cheer them on. You can be in a big city and you just say Homerville Athletics, then everybody knows. We don't look at it like community, we just look at it like family. Seeing all of this, I mean, it feels amazing knowing that you have the community behind you, your team, your family. It's been nearly 30 years since the Clinch County Pantherettes have played for a state championship. I just keep telling the girls, don't be worried about losing. You know, just embrace the moment because uh, it's not often that you get in this situation. And when those closest to you are the reason behind those banners on the wall. Our assistant coach is my auntie. My mom won her one. Every time we step in here, she's like, I got one on the wall. There is no better motivation to join them up there. To know that the people before you paved the road for you and now that you're doing it to like they're contacting us telling us congratulations they want to see us go out of the way that's the most amazing feeling ever it's an amazing feeling clinch county hopes to keep around for a little while when you have the teammates that i have then you don't have no doubt every time you step on the court i mean everybody gives everything that they got. It's been a breath of fresh air for females to actually be playing for a championship. First first time in almost 30 years. A drought they look to end. I'm expecting to be leaving Macon County with Coach Chase asking what size ring we want. A ring Panther Nation will be no doubt cheering them too. Clinch County faces Calhoun County Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for the single A public state title. In Homerville, Allison Posey, ABC 27.